In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily embed Google reviews on your Divi website. To do that, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version with less features through the WordPress repository. To purchase and download Reviews Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com, and once purchased, you can find your download link and the license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now, inside your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Next, go click on Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. To get started with our Google Reviews Feed, on the left-hand side, go click on Reviews Feed. This will take you inside the plugin, and at the top, we can go ahead and paste your license key from our Smash Balloon account. Paste it here like this, and click Activate. Now our license key has been activated and we can begin creating our Google Reviews Feed. Go click Add New at the top and for the first step we'll have to add a source for our Reviews Feed. Click Add Source and this will show you all the different sources you can use with the Reviews Feed Pro plugin. You can create a feed of reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot and WordPress.org. But since we want to create a feed of reviews from Google, you can select Google and click Next. Then for step number two we'll have to enter a Google API key. I've already got mine ready but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can watch the video tutorial on the top right corner of your screen or follow a written guide in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, paste it here like this and click next. And finally, for step number three, we'll have to enter our place ID. To find your place ID, click the link over here. This will take you to Google's documentation page for place IDs. And if you scroll down, you'll find this tool here to help you find your place ID. At the top, you can search for the location you want to enter into your reviews feed. For this example, I'm going to go for Angelina Bakery in Times Square. I'm going to select it like this and instantly it will show you the place ID for that location. You can copy it, head back to the plugin, and paste that place ID over here, and click Finish. Now we have the place added as a source, so we can go click on Next. And for our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our reviews feed. We have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, single review, and more below. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the simple cards template, and click Next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new Google Reviews feed, featuring all the latest reviews from Angelina Bakery. We can now go and embed this on our Divi webpage, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Layout. Inside, you'll find different options to modify the layout of your reviews feed. At the top, we have three different layouts to select from. Currently, we have the List layout, which displays your reviews in a single column list. Next, we have the Masonry layout, which displays your reviews in rows and columns. And lastly, we have the Carousel layout which allows site visitors to swipe through the reviews on your feed like this. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the list layout, and if you look below, you can also enter the number of reviews you want to display inside your feed. Currently, it's set to 4 reviews, but if I wanted to change that to 6, you can simply modify it like this. And right away, inside the live preview, you can now see that we're displaying 6 reviews. I'm going to change that back to 4, and once you're happy with the layout of your Google Reviews feed, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. Next, you'll notice that we have a header at the top of our feed. This is customizable as well. Under the Customize tab, if you go into Header, you'll find options to modify the different elements inside the header, such as the heading, button, and average review rating. If you wanted to hide any of these elements, you can select it over here on the left-hand side, and that will hide that element inside the header of your feed. I can bring it back like this, and you can do the same for the other elements as well, just like this. And if you wanted to disable the header entirely, you can go and toggle it off at the top here. As you can see, the header has now completely disappeared from our feed. For this demonstration, I'm going to bring that back, and if you've made any changes, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify how each individual review is displayed on your feed, under the Customize tab, click on Reviews. Next, click Edit Individual Elements. Inside, we can see all the different elements inside each review. We have the author and date, rating, review paragraph, and images or photos if they're available. And each of these elements can be hidden inside the reviews. To do that, all you have to do is deselect it like this. And you can see now that the author and date has disappeared from the reviews. I'm going to bring that back, and you can do the same thing with the rating stars as well, just like this. And once again, I can bring it back like this. But you'll now notice that we have the author and date and rating at the bottom of each review. This just shows that you can modify the arrangement of the elements inside each review. For example, let's say if we want to move the author and date back to the top, all you have to do is grab it and pull it to the top like this. And you can see instantly that the author and date is now at the top of the review. I'm going to do the same thing with the rating as well. You can grab it and pull it to the top here. And there we go, you can now see that the rating is between the author and date and the review paragraph. With these customization options, you can fully customize the reviews on your feed to match the exact design you're looking for. And if you make any changes, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. Next up, if you want to moderate the reviews inside your feed, Settings tab, and click on Moderation. Inside, if you go and enable Moderation mode, you'll see that we have two different options to use this. With the Allow list, all your reviews will be hidden by default apart from the ones you manually choose to display. Next, with the Block list, all your Google reviews will be displayed by default apart from the ones you manually choose to hide. This gives you control of the exact reviews you want to display inside your feed. 
If you make any changes, you can click save and exit. But for this tutorial, I'm going to disable moderation mode. And if I go back into settings and go into filters, you'll find options to filter the reviews inside your feed. At the top, you can choose to filter the reviews based on star rating. As you can see currently, I'm only displaying reviews that have three stars or more inside the feed. Underneath that, you can also add words as filters to hide or show reviews containing those words. And at the bottom, you can also filter reviews based on character count with a minimum and maximum value. You can use this option to control whether you want to display bite-sized reviews or more in-depth reviews inside your Google Reviews feed. With these filter and moderation options, you have complete control over the exact reviews you display inside your feed. And if you've added any filters, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Google Reviews feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your Divi web page. To do that, go click on Embed on the top right corner, copy a dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click Add. This will take you to your WordPress web page, and since we're using Divi, we can click on Edit with the Divi Builder. Here we are inside the Divi Builder, and to embed our Google Reviews feed, all you have to do is click on the plus icon here and search for the code module. That's this one here. Next, we can go ahead and paste that shortcode we copied earlier, just like this and click the green check mark below. And instantly you'll see a preview of your new Google Reviews feed inside your Divi web page. We can now click on save and check out what it looks like on the live WordPress web page. And here we are on our live WordPress web page and right in the middle we have our brand new Google Reviews feed that we just created. This feed is currently featuring all the latest Google reviews for Angelina Bakery. Inside each review you can see the author and date, the star rating, and the review paragraph as well. And on the right hand side you'll also notice a Google icon indicating that that review is from Google. At the top of the feed you have the header featuring the average rating and on the right hand side you have a write a review button. If site visitors click on that that will open up that location inside Google with a pop-up here asking you to leave a review. This makes it super easy for site visitors to go and leave Google reviews for your business directly from your WordPress website. And if you scroll down to the bottom of your feed you'll find a button that says load more. If you click on that that will load even more reviews directly inside your WordPress web page. So you now know how to create and embed a beautiful Google Reviews feed like this on your Divi web page. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.